In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the Uber Menu Conditionals extension to display certain menu items only under certain conditions. So, we already have Uber Menu and Uber Menu Conditionals extension installed on this site. And you can see that every page that we go to displays the exact same menu items. But let's say that on this page, we only, is the only page we want to have this buy now button appear on and we don't want it to appear on the other pages. So that's where Uber Menu Conditionals comes in. Uber Menu Conditionals will allow us to edit this buy now menu item and display it only on a particular page. So if we go over to our menu and you can see here's our buy now menu item once we have Uber Menu Conditionals installed, you'll see we get two new Uber Menu settings here. Conditional Display Show Item and Conditional Parameters. Now this first one allows us to set under what conditions this menu item will be displayed. So only if this condition is met will this menu item be displayed, unless you leave it on blank, in which case it will be displayed as usual on every page. So for this particular scenario, we only want to display this menu item on a particular page. And so if we leave it like this, what we'll get is a menu item that gets displayed only on pages, so not on posts or on archives or things like that. Um, but that's not quite what we want. We want a specific page. So that's where the second parameter comes in. So what we want to put here is the page ID. So the easiest way to find that is to just go back to our page and if we hover over edit page you'll see down in the bottom left corner there uh, it shows the link we're going to and it shows post equals 283. There are other ways to figure this out but I find this is the handiest. So now we know that the ID we need is 283 so we come back and we'll put 283 into our conditional parameter and now it'll just save our menu. Now we can go back over to our the page we want it to display on and you'll see that the button is still there but if we go to a different page you see the button no longer appears and if you click through any other pages on the site you'll see that the button does not appear except for that one page that matches the ID. So you could also do the same thing instead of the condition being on a particular page, you could change it to conditionally display only for logged in users. So in that case, we'll save this, we'll change this to only display if the user is logged in. And in this case, we don't need any conditional parameters. We'll save this menu, refresh, and we'll see that the Buy Now button is appearing and we are logged in. But now if I go ahead and log out, now I'll head back to that page, and you'll see it no longer appears. And it won't appear on any of these pages anymore because we're not logged in. But as soon as we log back in, I'm just going to do that quickly. So now we're logged back in. You can see up here. And now it's going to display on every page again. So you can see that um, there are over 20 different conditions out of the box that you can use. There's a, lo a lot of them are indicated as well. So we can do if user is logged in or if user is not logged in. We can do with specific capabilities or on particular pages of the site and you can even if you're uh, if you are comfortable with writing a little PHP you can write your own conditions that are a little more advanced or more specific to your site if that's what you need um, and you can apply those via a filter that's included with the plugin so I hope that gives you a pretty good overview of how Ubermenu Conditionals extension works thanks for watching